Yes. Uh, I, I, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you know, today was a day set aside for public participation on the impeachment of the deputy president. Uh, I think a lot of time and uh, money has been spent on what we think was totally unnecessary. When you look at what this country is going through, parents are unable to take their children to college, families are unable to put food on the table, we have challenges in hospitals where people are being told to give cash before they are treated, including patients who are undergoing dialysis, and they have been turned away. The country is in a serious crisis. And these are matters that should be taking our focus and our attention as a nation, not a public participation exercise over some power play in the ruling coalition. It is a sad day for Kenya. But what is even sadder is uh, the violence that has accompanied uh, uh, this process. And this violence has been seen across the country. We've seen it in Kiambu, where our clan uh, governor Waititu was. And uh, uh, we, up to now, we do not know what happened to him. But we do know there was violence there. And not just in Kiambu, in Nyeri, the entire Mount Kenya, and other parts of the country. But what really has gotten the attention of the nation is the violence at Bomas where our client uh, Morara was seen uh, being attacked from all corners. We saw uh, seats, and we are talking of metallic seats being thrown at him, and he was hit. In fact, we saw uh, him uh, getting uh, attacked on live television, and we want to thank Citizen and the other uh, media houses that covered it, uh, we do know that uh, he's not well, and that is why he has not come to court. We want to thank the court for the indulgence they have extended to us as uh, his legal team to note that indeed, uh, because of the violence, our client has been injured and is undergoing treatment at the Nairobi uh, hospital as we speak. We must condemn this ugly uh, head of uh, uh, violence that is being reared in our country. And we have seen this in post-election violence, in terms of pre-election violence, and uh, we blame this totally on the president and uh, his ruling coalition that has subjected the country to an unnecessary process that was not really a priority. There are many priorities that many Kenyans are looking at. Removing Rigadi Gashagwa is not a priority for ordinary Kenyans who are suffering. 